Good morning from El Nido here on Palawan Island in the Philippines. I have passed my month anniversary being here, so that's pretty cool. Longest time I've stayed in one country since I started my backpacking trip. So El Nido is very popular with tourists from the Philippines and tourists from outside of the Philippines. And finding a hostel has been somewhat challenging. Tonight I'm sleeping in the common area and I'm paying 350 pesos for that. But the night after that I have got a dorm room booked. El Nido is beautiful and popular it is from tourism. It's still a very small town so hostel wise there isn't much going on. So I was just having breakfast in my hostel which is, I can't remember what it's called, it's OMP, that stands for something. And one of the Filipino guys there has invited me to go to Nakpang Beach on bikes today. He's not very comfortable driving on a motorbike, which is weird because everyone drives one here. Um, so I'm going to be the driver and he's going to be the passenger. And I'm going to go meet him now. Hey out! <laughs> this is Norman, my new Filipino friend who I met at breakfast. And we have to stop here. We have to stop here, where we are renting a bike. Okay, we've driven two minutes to the gas station. How do you feel about having an English driver? I'm scared. <laughs> Honestly, I'm scared, but it's gonna be fine. We got helmets on, which is almost unheard of for Filipinos, but better safe than sorry for sure. Um, I think I'm personally quite a good driver, so we'll just see what happens. We are very nearly at Nakpang Beach, just stopped for a little photo shoot. So it's about a 40 to 50 minute ride and we've just paid 100 pesos entry into, I don't know, the Nakpang Beach area. Fun fact, I just learned that if you're under 16 here in the Philippines, in most areas, there's a curfew from 10 p.m. till 4 a.m. And that is finable if you break it, which is crazy because the stuff I was doing at 16, well, let's just say I was definitely out after 10 p.m. Sorry, mum. So, welcome to Nakpan Beach. Mabuhay sa Nakpan Beach. Mabuhay sa Nakpan Beach. Yes, that's perfect. That's it, I'm learning Tagalog. We've just ordered some french fries because I need a little snack because I'm a bit of a pig. And I brought some with me, some local Filipino delicacies. Banana chips. Banana chips, they're like fried bananas with honey and Durian candy. I had durian in Thailand and I really didn't like it, but maybe the candy is going to be a little bit better. Let's give it a try. Oh my god, it's so bad. Really? I love it. I love it. Durian is like a, a big fruit. Is it a fruit? Yeah. yeah. You can see what it looks like here. Um, but on public transport and stuff like that, you're not allowed to take it because it smells really, really bad. Some people really, really like it. Some people really, really hate it. I love it. I don't think it's for me. What is this? Okay, so this is banana ketchup. So practically it's like ketchup made, well, ketchup made from banana, made with seasonings and all the flavorings to change the flavor. This is mental. It tastes kind of exactly like tomato ketchup, but actually a little bit better. Um, <laughs> it doesn't taste like banana at all. My mind is blown. This place is truly stunning and it's a beautiful day. Couple of clouds looming over right now, but I feel like it's not gonna rain because I really don't want it to. The water is very blue, the sun is shining, there's some great locations for some pictures, so I'm just getting my Instagram hyped up right now. Gnarly waves here, bro. Yo! Norman and I just spent about an hour in the sea just splashing about in the waves and getting chucked about. Super fun. It makes me really excited to try surfing in Bali. Oh, we got water on the lens. Okay. Better or worse? It's raining a little bit, but it's still really nice weather. It's weird. Getting tossed about by the waves was super fun. They don't look so big now, but they were. And once again, I have lost earrings. So I've got flappy butthole ears until I can find some new ones. I'm down to one spare now. Not even a spare pair, just one spare. Having one of those days where I'm just super grateful to be traveling. Look at this place. It's always when I'm on a beautiful beach with blue skies, with good people. It just feels amazing. <laughs> if I drop this camera? Uh, <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> okay, never find it. 
I'm just joking. Lovely ride back from Nakpang Beach into Ao Nido. Uh, we've just found this burrito bar, which is fab. It has vegetarian options. Norman and I are just gonna have a nice spot of lunch before carrying on to another beach. And then I think we're gonna go find a nice sunset spot. Once again, riding a motorbike remains to be one of my all time favorite activities. There is no feeling like it. And especially in the Philippines when the countryside is just so beautiful, so much green, so much blue, so much to see, it's just absolutely stunning. I'm getting such a good vibe from El Nido so far. It's such a beautiful place with beautiful people and I'm really, really loving it. What did you order? I ordered burrito, but not the veggie kind. <laughs> I need my beef. Head into a view of our lunch. Granted it's through some scaffolding, but we have got a nice view of the sea right now. Cheers. My burrito was absolutely demolished. It didn't last two minutes, but it was really, really nice. What's it called? Elsie's Burrito Bar. If you're a vegetarian coming to El Nido, I can recommend. Okay, after a quick pit stop, we are now headed down to Marimegmeg Beach. Yep. Uh, it's about 10, 15 minute ride, would you say? Yeah, from uh, El Nido town. From El Nido town. We actually had to get gas twice already today because we've been cruising around so much. Wow. Last stop in our little motorbike tour of El Nido for the day, we are going to head to a sunset bar to catch a nice spot of the sunset. We just had to hike back up the steps to get back to the bike, so I think we both own a beer or an ice cream or something. We are here at Republica Sunset Bar. We've got a nice spot and waiting for the sunset now. And we're just overwatching the drones going by, increasing my jealousy level. One day I will get one and make the footage from my vlogs tenfold better, but until that day, you're gonna have to deal with my Canon G7X. Cheers to that. <laughs> Just took the bikes back after seeing the lovely sunset. Not the best I've ever seen. Doesn't really quite compare to Barakay's sunset, but it was still pretty nice. Now I've got to go t-shirt shopping because this one is stinky and I have no clothes left. They're all in the laundry. So if I want to have a shower, I've got to get a t-shirt and hopefully maybe I'll be able to find some replacement earrings for these buttholes. Wish me luck. Okay, I'm definitely going to settle with a tourist vest, something that says El Nido or Palawan on it because I haven't got one yet, so it's time. I don't know if orange or blue is my colour. I think this is the one that instinct is drawing me to though, because it's the most ridiculous. <laughs> I like the, the ones that are fruity. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for this one, because it's hilarious. <laughs> managed to get some replacement plugs, even though I'm not too into tunnels. And I managed to find a vest, so I can now put clean clothes on, which is a miracle. I'm allowed now to have a shower. So I'm looking pretty gross and smelling pretty gross as well. I'm looking forward to that. Management decision, I'm not taking my camera out tonight because I am gonna have a beer and I'm gonna make some poor decisions most probably and I don't wanna lose my camera. So if you did like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, whatever you wanna do and I will see you again soon with another vlog. Goodbye.